Palace of Velázquez in Seville in 1599. A dense cosmopolitan city, the new Carthage, the new Babylon, subject to the whims of the Guadalquivir and its floods. Land, sea, a window on the new world, the Indies, the colonies, a profusion of peoples, ideas, inventions, and wealth. The Golden Age. Flemish merchants, Genoese bankers, Jews, Moriscos, slaves, and artists. Seville's ramparts gave way. Everything spilled out. Life exploded like an open-air theater. But a new Jerusalem, too with its procession of saints, eager for Christian purity, obsessed, thirsting for blood. The Immaculate Conception. Velazquez painted it at the age of 70. He too dreamed of lofty heights, peaks. The naturalness of Mary's face, maybe his future wife's, illuminates the canvas. I explore Seville on the trail of the young Velasquez. Scientists observe the stars from the top of the Giralda, and Spain's artists gradually open their eyes, too, to the world around them. Velázquez opened his wider still. The bell towers, the spires, the blinding light, as blinding as the faith governing the city, and whose incessant struggle with light condemned artists to religious fervor alone. The young Diego Rodriguez de Silva y Velázquez was the eldest of eight children. Born into a wealthy middle-class family, his father was a lawyer of Portuguese descent and his mother a member of Seville's lesser nobility. In his young fingers, the cobbled streets, walls, shadows, and the mosaics of the Alcazar became pigments of his imaginary palette. I spend hours strolling around the Casa de Pilatos. A meeting place for patrons, poets, and scholars. The finest residence in all Seville. Under his master Pacheco's eye, the 11-year-old pupil spent the next six years learning how to stretch canvases and crush pigments without ever being allowed to pick up a brush. <laughs> 